I've been told by a lot of people that I'm very patient. Little did I know that that would really come in handy for what I was going to face. A little bit more about that coming up. Hi, I'm Paul Schmidt. I'm the owner and creative video strategist for Introduce Multimedia. And on this episode of Paul Talk, I wanted to focus on patience. I know that throughout this series, I've been really focused on talking about the things that I learned after I had my stroke. And one of the things that have always been said to me is that I'm very patient, which is odd because for me, I don't feel like I'm a very patient person at all. Just drive around with me for a little while while we hit the highway and see how patient I really am. However, for this situation in which you need to do massive amounts of recovery, patience is the key, but not just patience with others, because all they're trying to do is help you out, help you get better, help make sure that you don't go through this again. But the recovery process is long extremely long, a lot longer than you're gonna like. So in essence, the patience you have to have is not necessarily with those that are around you, but with yourself. Because as a business owner, it is difficult to have to relearn a lot of the things that you feel like you already know, like you're going through speech therapy, you're going through physical therapy, you're going through what's called occupational therapy, which is basically um, training your mind to do the things that it normally does on a regular basis and it just feels it's frustrating, it's time consuming, and it's sometimes humiliating because you know you can do this, you know you can say these words, you know you can move from point A to point B, you know you can do these puzzles, but it's just not as second nature when you're trying to relearn it as it typically is. So you really have to be, you got to give yourself the grace too. And you got to be patient with yourself. And actually with that, that transcends beyond just the recovery period because it actually means that you really have to think about this on a day to day. You have to be patient with yourself. Things will not work out. How do you, how do you move forward? You have to have um, the patience with your team, you have to have the patience with your vendors. You have to have, you just have to relearn and be, like I said, have the grace to approach these things in situations that will be more helpful instead of hurtful. And that is one thing that I really had to take into account because the simple fact is I was getting impatient. Um, I typically do not get impatient with others as much as I get impatient with myself. And I'm very hard on myself, and everybody knows that about me. And so I push myself sometimes more than I really need to. Because there's a lot of things that are out of your control. And one of those things that can be out of your control when you're going through a health scare like this is that the normal everyday things might end up being a challenge. So just making sure that you have that patience with yourself and therefore, once you feel that calm with yourself, you're able to express that calm with others. And that's, that's what gets you to the next step. So be patient, be patient especially with yourself because it can be a struggle.